All right, YouTube, Matt M. Roy back once again. It has been some time. Well, I'm giving you all an update because right now I am heading down to Virginia Beach. Let me give you a little bit of better view there uh, to possibly pick up a load of computers. Now, I have been in talks with this gentleman and I've purchased items from him before. Um, but not on this scale. Um, basically, what I'm going to be doing. For five minutes to exit 15B. Four. Excuse my GPS Virginia there. Um, basically, what I've been doing is talking with him uh, in regards to basically buying out his storage unit. He has a storage unit that's filled with desktops, laptops, monitors keyboards, mice, power cords, um, even some tablets and things. And we're heading down there right now. Um, it's enough to where I needed to bring all three vehicles. So we're talking about my van, which I'm driving the, the van right now, the Tahoe, which mom is right behind me in, and then dad's van, AKA my old Chrysler Town and Country. Um, it's about, 10 after 1 right now. We're supposed to meet him there at about 2 o'clock. Um, not rushing to get down there. We're trying to get the best deal possible. This is actually going to be a joint collaboration between Dad and I, um, financial-wise. Um, we're both going to be putting money into this. So um, I'm going to try to get some footage in there if he is okay with it. Um, I'm not sure if he is or not because, you know, it, it, it's it's one of those weird things where I don't know if maybe he doesn't want it on YouTube, but if he does, I'll definitely go ahead and get some footage. Um, couldn't have asked for a better day for it. It's um, nice and sunny. It's a little on the cool side. It's about 42, 44 right now. I'm rocking some overalls, believe it or not, because... This is, even though it's an indoor storage unit, storage units in general get extremely dirty. Um, but that's all I have to really talk about right now. Um, I, really, I just can't wait to do this. This has been a long time coming. And um, it's an exciting day because this, this potentially will set me up for the it's next six overhead. months next six, six months or so guys so um fingers crossed we can come to a deal you know we're i think we're close um we talked a little bit on um online or say we talked a little bit uh through facebook marketplace about price and we're a little far off i mean not bad we're within the margin what i like to call the margin of error so um, we'll see what happens. I'm gonna go ahead and pause this and um, if anything interesting happens before now and when we get to the storage unit I'll start recording again Talk to you guys in a little bit All right, folks. We are almost there. I'm just turning on to Lynn Haven Parkway right now It's a pretty uh, interesting uh, journey down here. I had to go on Feral Parkway Which I haven't been on in years and looks like they actually wind it. It used to be I think two lanes and they actually put a third lane in there which i i guess now that people aren't traveling as much especially to work it maybe in hindsight wasn't a good excuse me i'm sorry good idea but um you know it's it's a beautiful drive down here so we're almost there again um probably got another five or ten minutes and um this is exciting. Um, we'll have to see if we can make this deal work. Um, but there's going to be so much stuff in here. Going to be a lot of fodder for you guys. I'm going to try to go miles. through. We'll arrive at 1000 Lynn Haven Parkway. There we go. Um, yeah, there'll be a lot of videos coming up because I think there's going to be some interesting um, towers in this lot. Uh, including a few servers that I might have a special project for if I can get the right drives. Um, but let me go ahead and pause this, you know, safety Crash first. Crash Uh-oh, crash ahead. Talk to you guys shortly. All right, folks, we just arrived, and this place is, I don't even know what the name of this is. It's Mini Price Storage here on Lynn Haven Boulevard. And um, 
I'm gonna get out in just a minute. Mom's over there, and then Dad's next to her, so let me show you guys what we got. Okay, so here's the van I was driving. I probably should have taken the uh, bike racks off, but these bike racks actually fold back and down like that. Uh, here's Mom doing a YouTube, doing a vlog. Um, so what do you think? You think we're going to be able to come to a deal or what? I hope so. <laughs> I want to take three cars too. down with all the gas and everything for nothing. Well, and you want to know what's funny? We're trying to follow each other. And I noticed mom was following really far behind. And I think, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it's because, was it telling you you were going like uh, 60 Oh, 65, yeah. Yeah, because that reads, five, that's five miles an hour off. It reads five miles per hour faster, oh, faster than you're at. Well, right, wouldn't that be a faster than you're actually going? In other words, yeah, yeah, when yeah, you're going, yeah. if it tells you you're going 60, going you're actually going 55. 55 right. And yeah. I think what happened was they put different size tires on here. And Dad's over there in the Chrysler Town and Country. <sighs> what do you think? I... Mom thinks we can come to a deal. What do you think? For yeah, the I'm not gonna worry about it. No, I mean we're not too worried about it. That's right. The price has to be right. And if it's not, then I'm willing to walk away. But I don't know, folks. This would set me up for about six months and um like I said, this is a joint collaboration between dad and I, so he's gonna do some of the negotiating this time because I'm too much of a pushover. So we're going to let him work on it, and if um, the gentleman's okay with it, I'll go ahead and film inside, but he should be here in about five or ten minutes, and we'll talk to you on the flip side. All right, everybody, so they're discussing it. We made our final offer. I'm not going to tell you what it is, um, but I'll let you know in a few minutes whether or not we got the stuff, so I'll talk to you in a moment. All right, everybody, we came to a deal. I'm glad it worked out. Our hearts were beaten out of our chest, both of us, My I think. Was, I well, his, his wasn't. I he was, was but us and out. the other gentlemen, man, they we were just going back and forth. But we came to a deal. So let me show you what's in here because it's going to be easier to do it now uh, before everything gets loaded. So I'm going to turn you around a couple of minutes and show you what we got. All right, everybody. So this is the storage unit, and I'll give you kind of a preliminary here. I'll actually probably take a thumbnail right now, too. Um... But this is basically what we got, and I'm not sure if I'm going to tell you what I paid, but I'll, if I do, I'll do that later on. But as you can see, um, these are some Dell Precisions here. These are the T35s. Uh, these have Xeons in them, uh, some HP Core i3s, uh, a couple of servers. This is a HP Pro, I think that's like an, like a, is that a ProLiant? No, that's an ML. Um, Dell Power Edge T7210. I've actually had a few of those. Quite a few of these uh, gold, what are these? Solid Gear Neur Neutron 650 watt power supplies. Um, boxes of memory, boxes of power cords and DVI cables up the yin yang. I'm not even going to bother dealing with those yet. Um, not even sure what's in here. Let's see. Oh, so here we got some Dell power bar or our sound bars, I should say. Um, looks like we got some Belkin routers and what brand is this? Cisco routers. These look like Cisco switches. I'm I'm all, I'm just guessing that's probably what they are. Uh, yep, Cisco system network switches. Uh, a whole bunch of uh, Dell uh, Inspiron, or are these Inspiron or Latitude? These are Latitude laptops, mostly i5s. My phone's having a hard time focusing because it's very dim in here. Uh, more power supplies. Uh, definitely got some more desktops there, some i3s, i5s. A whole ton of different laptops here. These Lenovo's, I think, are um, mostly Celerons. Um, some HP's over here. We got, uh, I don't even know what that is. But um, I can't go through too many of them right now, unfortunately, because there's just not enough light in here. Yeah, got some monitors up there and some more towers and things down here. 
Uh, here's that big box of memory, and this is like a combination of everything. I think he said it was mostly DDR3. That particular one's a stick of DDR2. Now, this has got literally everything in it. I see some original DDR memory. Hopefully there's some DDR3 in here. Uh, that's PC2. And what's this one? A lot of DDR2, but I'm going to be going through this uh, the next few days. Keyboards. And yep, got keyboards, mice, more laptops, and everything. So dad's here. He's here for moral support mostly. I hear them coming, and we'll talk to you guys a little bit later. All right, everybody. Um, about an hour or so in, my watch fell off, so I have absolutely no idea what time it is. We have one cart left. And as you can see, I still have plenty of room in my van here. Um, although this section is really getting filled. These are all the laptop power supplies. Um, I'm not even sure. These are actually notebook batteries that are brand new, have never been opened. Those are those speakers. And uh, I'll show you the other vehicles real quick. This is the town and country. The town and country is really good for this stuff. You get a lot more room in here than you would think. We actually still have some more room. These are even more power cords. These really useful boxes are good for nesting. So yeah, those are enough going anywhere. We can actually put some more on dad's cart right there. And my Tahoe, we have this closed right now because this is filled to the brim with desktops. So we're gonna go ahead and finish up. I see I gotta bring the cart back in. That's it, we got one more cart. And uh, let me bring this in and uh, probably talk to you guys when we get back home. All right, folks, we are finally back home. It's only like 4.30, uh, but I'm gonna end the vlog here for today. Um, we are definitely not unloading that mess because it's insane. We're all exhausted. We're gonna head out and grab some dinner and I will talk to you probably in the next couple of days. Hopefully I can get this uploaded either today or tomorrow um, if I'm up to it. Right now I am just so tired. I got very little sleep last night. So, All right, YouTube, the 18th of November, 2021. And um, as you can see, I'm starting to unload the uh, Tahoe from this last haul. Um, I actually haven't been able to do too much. I hurt my back a few weeks ago, so had to take it easy. Hey, everybody. Here are some of those think pads that I picked up. This one actually says, Property of Virginia Beach Public Schools. Wow. Um, I'm still looking for the chargers for these. I don't even know where they are. I have one plugged in over here. Um, trying to get it charged up, but I think I need a higher amperage charger because I can't get any power to these. And I do actually have replacement batteries for those. Um, but everything is a major mess right now. Um, I'm stripping a computer. I actually pulled uh, one of these uh, NVIDIA Quadra FX 580s out of... Uh, it was one of the, out of the Dell Precision... Um, T3500s, and they actually had, at least some of them had these uh, two terabyte SATA drives, so I'm very curious to see how many more of these I can get. Um, Eric, if you have any more of those two terabyte drives, I'm very, very interested. So heading out here, my neighbor's doing some work at the moment, so it's a little on the noisy side. Um, I'm stripping one of these Dell Precision T3500s because uh, it was missing the side cover. Um, but I have quite a few more in it. So I got one right there, and I got actually, I got three more right there, and I have like three more inside. So this one's going to wind up being a part system. But if you've never seen the inside of one of these, they are very unique. That does not belong in there. That's a piece of pine straw. Um, these are almost like a server-grade system. You have one, two, three, four, five, six RAM slots. 
lots of dust because they never clean these things out. Um, you actually have two PCI Express X16 and X8 slots, and these double as uh, X1 slots as well. Um, but right now, I'm just stripping it out. Uh, this one, I was wondering because some models of this actually offer dual processors, but I think this one was just a single. So I'm going to go ahead and finish uh, stripping this out. I'm not going to bore you with it. I'm going to pull the power supply, the motherboard, and this is where I actually pulled the hard drives out. So let me take care of that. Um, you guys haven't even seen the first vlog yet because I have not had time to upload it. But I'll get back with you a little bit later um, once I get everything upstairs. But if you can see here, I still have, what is that, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 15 or so towers to get out. And if you look in here, um, hang on, God unlock the door. If you look in here, I still have tons of laptops to take out, including a bunch of these nice HP, um, are these Pro Books? Let me see what these actually are. I know these are AMD systems. Yeah, ProBook uh, 53. What is that? 4535S's. Dad's working outside over there, so I need to get going and try to get these out because these have been sitting in the Tahoe for the last few days, and it's getting really, really cold at night, so I don't want these to get damaged. I'm going to work on that, and I'll talk to you guys on the flip side. All right, folks, it's pretty late at night, uh, 8 12. And this is the same day. I'm actually going to end the uh, vlog here. And I think what I'm actually going to do is just combine everything into one vlog. If it gets a little too long, um, I'll go ahead and span it over two. But um, I thought I'd show you a couple laptops that I got on this haul. These are both Dell Precision M6800s. Now... This one works perfectly fine. Um, turns on, uh, got a good battery, and I just got to put an SSD in here. I actually have a client that wants this laptop uh, ASAP. Now, this one here is, um, oh, by the way, this one is a Core i7-2820M. Um, this one here, I actually have no idea what this is, other than it's some sort of i5. Um, reason being, you turn this one on, and it basically just cuts right back off again. So, I'm going to have to look into this one a little bit more. Um, but it has been a long day. Thank the Lord that Mom and Dad were here to help. But I'll show you where I put the majority of the systems. So, yeah, all the laptops from this last haul are totally under here. Unbelievable. I'm shocked that they all fit there. Um, these are pretty much all the desktops. I haven't counted how many exactly, but... He said 37, and I think it's pretty darn close. So I'm going to go ahead and end this before the vlog gets way too long. And hopefully um, I'll get this uploaded in the next day or two. And then we'll start digging into some of these systems. Um, the Asus here, some of these are actually um, tablet systems. Like this Asus with the uh, keyboard built in. This is kind of reminiscent of a Microsoft Surface. But I am getting tired. It's getting late tonight. So please continue to like and subscribe. And as always, have a blessed day, everybody.